people don't go ham like in training, you know what I mean? They're not looking good to your turtle. Training. Go to your turtle. They're not looking to hurt you or do anything too spazzy during training, right? Everybody's just kind of training. Be careful here when you're on the back with your head up. Because crazy people will, like wild people, they'll do flips and stuff like that. Like, imagine if she did just an explosive roll through here and I planted my face in the floor. So I know that's like, that sounds ridiculous. If you guys don't guard against stuff like that, one spot like that's gonna bust your neck for your whole career. You know what I'm saying? Or one, another example of a spot like that, go to uh, your back. Don't block that knee. Don't build that habit and watch what happens. Eventually, you're gonna break your teeth. You're gonna, you're gonna catch one of the nose. I guarantee it's gonna happen. Another spot, an example of that, turn this way. Like just so they can see the feet. With my feet like this. Eventually I'm gonna get hurt right there. Right? Because somebody is gonna explosively bridge back that way and I'm gonna end up heel hooking myself. Right? Eventually you're gonna get, oh, another one when we have the back again. I don't know how this turned into a lecture on ways to get hurt, but uh, one, I've seen this happen a couple of times where you get a big guy's back and you got the spot and you go to flatten him out and it start to flatten so I don't have to do it. As you start to flatten, you let your feet flare like that. And when that big guy now decides that he can roll one direction or the other, because he's big enough to do it, start to turn one direction or the other, you get heel hooked right there. So you don't flatten the guy with your feet out like that, even though it allows you to drive your hip harder and more effectively. That, it's easier to flatten them out by doing that, but you're gonna get hurt, right? So, go back. Come back up. Yeah. Oh yeah, like in, uh, yeah. I'll give up a sweep 100% of the time rather than fight in a spot where I'm just not, I don't feel like I can make an athletic movement at all, I'll give it up. Yeah, I know, and it's not even like a specific scenario necessarily you're talking about, right? Just sometimes you're caught up underneath somebody. Yeah, that's how my mount escape works. That one I do all the time. I just put your foot in a spot where you can't explode and wiggle without feeling like you're gonna get hurt, and then I'll take you towards it. Um, so anyway, just be careful with that stuff. What was I talking about, back? Something like that? Yeah, that was, okay, yeah, it was just, I want you to be really conscious, because I saw you doing it, I saw you do it once, um, I definitely saw you do it. Head up when you're on that back position. I'm not saying don't do it, especially if you want to strike, but if you're in a situation where you're head up and striking, the chances that he does something wild go up exponentially as well. So just monitor your body in these spots. Everybody do this like three more times each, and let's move on. Ready? One, two, three.